Stone Mountain said, man says the city was trying to place the responsibility on the county when it came to fixing a damaged speed limit sign. He says he tried for months to get someone to remove the dangerous spike, but to no avail. He reached out to CBS 46's Melissa Stern, hoping we would get him results. We did. She now has the story. About two months ago, an unknown driver ran over his mailbox and this speed limit sign. Despite numerous calls, he says no one has come out to replace the sign and what's left of it is extremely dangerous. Kids walk by here on the way to school and if they happen to run into it, it could be shish kebab. <laughs> it's been months since Bern Sawyer came outside to find his mailbox and the speed limit sign in front of his house damaged. It was run over the speed limit sign was on the ground and the pole was broken in half. There were pieces of a car on the ground with the mailbox and the stop and the speed limit sign. So he reached out to the city of Stone Mountain for help. He says they directed him to the county. And they said that the Cab County would take care of the actual replacement of the sign. But according to the City of Stone Mountain's website, maintenance of traffic signs is listed as their responsibility. DeKalb County confirmed this as well. They did come out and put a traffic cone on it because I mentioned that it was dangerous, that it was sticking up and I couldn't pull it out of the ground. So after months of no response, Sawyer contacted us. I figured if they hadn't done anything in two months, I'd try a different Approach. We contacted the city of Stone Mountain, but got no response. But a few hours after interviewing Sawyer, I got this text message from him reading, the piece of the metal pole is gone. Half the job is done. Someone from the city came out to remove it. Just to make sure nobody gets hurt. Now he's hoping the city replaces the sign sooner rather than later. So people know the speed limit in the neighborhood full of children. We'll be following up. Melissa Stern, CBS 46 News.